Hi, I'm Shaban and welcome to the season premiere of Ecozone, where we not only give you insights into the most current environment and wildlife stories, but also astounding environment success stories and breakthrough green innovations. We are simply environmentally entertaining. Today on the show, we look into wildlife crimes in Uganda and here's what we have in the bag for you. We understand the magnitude of wildlife crime in Uganda, a classic example of Maxion Falls National Park. So the Wildlife Conservation Society, which I worked for, helped Uganda Wildlife Authority develop an online offenders database. What conservation authorities are doing to solve the issue? It's a very simple database, but um, the fact it's online basically means that anyone in UWA has access to it. And the animals that have fallen victim to poaching. Each year, the number of African elephants killed range between 20,000 to 25,000. According to reports by the National Academy of Science, close to 100,000 elephants were killed between 2010 and 2012. Now, on March 3, 2015, Uganda joined the rest of the world to celebrate the World Wildlife Day under the theme, It's Time to be Serious About Wildlife Crime. Wildlife crime is now the most urgent threat to three of the world's best-loved species, elephants, rhinos and tigers. In more than 50 years of conservation, there has never been wildlife crime on such scales. Uh, we have people who do poaching, which is basically illegal hunting of wildlife. We have people who traffic wildlife products and wildlife itself. All that constitute wildlife crime. Um, so we deal with it on a daily basis. In the next episode of Ecozone, we get insights into the magnitude of wildlife crime in Uganda. Mm -hmm.